Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta, and today we will understand how to do data management in BiblioShiny app. So for this, we will go on R Studio. In R Scripts, the first thing is we will install the package Bibliometrix. This can be done in two ways. Either I will write the command here install.packages Bibliometrix or tools install packages and right here Bibliometrix. Click here and press install. After this is being done, go in the library or rather activate the library, library Bibliometrix and press run. After that, another uh, command which you will have to write is Biblioshiny, two round brackets and press run. So let's keep the cursor here and run it. So now my Biblioshiny app is ready. Now I will have to import the data. This can be done from here. Click here, import or load. Please choose what to do. Import the raw file, bibliometrics file or use a sample collection. So I will activate the raw file. Options available are Web of Science, Scopus, Dimensions, OpenLX. I will activate Scopus because my data file is from the Scopus. Browse. Scopus data on green banking. Open. And press Start. So it's giving me the message completeness of the metadata. I have already explained you the concept of metadata. Kindly refer to my previous video. So please refer my playlist on bibliometric analysis. Now scroll. Press close from here. So it gives you the information, the DOI of the paper, the authors, author's ID. You can scroll from here. The total number of documents are 236. This can be saved as Excel or R data format. Now, what is the next thing which I can do? We can merge the files. Merging can be done from here. Activate the filters. So in the filters, we can specify the language, publication year. We only want to work or rather we only want the bibliometric analysis from 1980, uh, 1980 to 2000, uh, 2022. Document type, average citations per year, and the Bradford's law. What is this Bradford's law? Let's try to understand. So Bradford's law is a principle in bibliometrics that describes the distribution of articles across journals in a particular field. It states that a small number of journals publish the majority of significant research paper, while many other journals contribute fewer papers. So for any uh, discipline, we are having nucleus, zone 1 and zone 2. Now let's understand this. Number of source journals are 3. Uh, let's say that these journals are related to the entrepreneurship. So we can get 130 articles from this. Now we require some more articles on entrepreneurship. So in zone 1, the number of uh, source journals will be 9 because these are not the core journals. So for 130, now we will have to refer 9 journals. If we still require uh, 130 more articles, then in zone 2, we will have to refer 27 journals. So core zone, a small number of highly productive journals contribute the most articles on a topic, specific topic, let's say sustainability. So the journal on sustainability. Middle zone, a moderate number of journals publishing a smaller number of articles. Peripheral zone, a large number of journals each publishing very few articles on this topic. This pattern is often logarithmic, meaning the number of journals needed to produce an equal number of articles increases exponentially from core to peripheral. See 130, 130, 130. This is logarithmic 3, 9, 27. Okay. So, here also I can specify that we want to run the bibliometric analysis on core sources or core plus zone 2 sources. So, this was all about data management in BiblioShiny app.
For more videos on bibliometric analysis, please subscribe to my channel. You can also refer my playlist in which I uploaded many videos on data science, machine learning and artificial intelligence. Please don't forget to like and share my videos. You can also join me on different social medias, link given in the description box.